Hi everyone, I'm Rachel with Limbo's product team. Today, we're going to be talking about Limbo's Maps feature. Maps give you the ability to collect and assign physical locations to your assets and tasks. Maps can be used in a number of ways. You can create map locations of your assets to orient new team members. You can track the locations of work requests to quickly find where issues were reported. For example, a broken valve along a large water line. And you can create a verify location task instruction that verifies a user's location against a geolocation to ensure work is being done in the correct place. This video will teach you how to add a geolocation to an asset or task, how to use the verify location instruction, how to collect location information from work requesters, and how to create maps and map layers. Depending on your permissions and plan with Limble, some of your screens may be different than mine. If you have any questions, reach out to our support team. Let's get started. First, let's talk about maps for assets. As mentioned earlier, geolocations can be used to quickly locate assets, so more time is used to perform work and less time is used trying to find the problem. To add a map location to an asset, go to the Manage Assets page and click on the desired asset. In the Asset card, click Set Map Location. Your desktop browser, or the Limbo mobile app if you're doing this on the go, will prompt you to share your location. This feature requires location sharing. Once you've enabled location sharing, click Add. You have several options to choose from. The My Location button will use your current location as the asset's geolocation. When placing your location, you have several options to choose from, including markers, vertices, circles, and text. You can zoom in and out and move around on the map to choose a different location. And you can toggle between Google Street and satellite views to verify that the location is where it needs to be. Once your location is set, you can click Edit and choose from the menu options to make adjustments. Once you're satisfied, click Save. Once the location is set, you can click Navigate to be taken to your device's native map application and get directions to the asset. This is helpful if assets aren't clearly marked. Now, when this asset is assigned to a task, the map location will be added to the task automatically. Let's talk about using geolocations with tasks. If a task is assigned to an asset that already has an associated map location, that location will automatically be added to the task. By clicking View Map Location, a new window will appear, showing the same map from before. You can click Navigate to be taken to your device's native map application to get directions. You can also click the arrow to be taken to the native map application directly. If no geolocation is associated with the asset, you can click Set Map Location to configure a geolocation for this task. In the new window, you'll have the same map configuration options as we did for setting up an asset location. Let's quickly discuss how to collect location information from work requesters. From the Setup and Configure Work Requests page, click on the pencil icon for your desired location. Under Add Map Location, select Show or Show and Require Work Requester to Answer. When a requester adds a map location, they will be shown the same map window and similar options to set the geolocation. If you include the where or what is having the problem option on your work request form, you can also capture location data if the selected asset has a map location. When the task generates, the assigned user will be able to see the map location. Map locations can be used to verify a technician's location when working on a task by using the Verify Location instruction. From any task, click Add Instruction. From the new list of options, select Verify Location. Add the description. Then choose what you would like to verify the user's location against. You can verify against the asset assigned to the task. Make sure the asset has a map location for this option. You can verify against the task, which is an ideal option for work requests, where the requester is required to add a map location. And finally, you can pre-select an asset. When the user goes to complete the instruction, they'll need to verify their location against the chosen option. Let's talk about maps and map layers. Maps and map layers are visual tools to look at your assets and tasks on a map. 
Maps function similarly to the custom dashboard, and layers function similarly to widgets. These can be shared with other users, which is great for helping new technicians get oriented with where things are located. Navigate to the Maps page. Click Add Map. Name your map. I'll call this Production Factory. Then select Add Layer. The new window looks similar to the widget configuration from the Custom Dashboards page. You can choose between tasks or assets. I'll choose Assets in this example. From your selection, you'll have a number of filtering options to choose from. In this example, I'll filter by location and only look at assets at the Production Factory. Next, select an icon. This is what will show up on the map to represent your assets or tasks. I'll keep the asset icon selected. I can also customize the color. Finally, I'll name this layer Production Factory Assets. Once the layer is created, I can show or hide it by checking or unchecking the box, and I can edit my layer anytime by clicking the pencil icon. When you click on an icon, it will bring up the asset or task. To share a map with other users, click the Share button. In the new window, choose your desired users and click Select. Just as roles and permissions impact custom dashboard data, a user's view of map data may be limited based on their role and permissions. Thanks so much for watching. If you have additional questions, visit our Help Center or reach out to our support team to learn more.